If you could change one thing in life or in general, what might that be? Self-interpretive question it can be. Yeah, sure. Social, I, political, whatever. Yeah, I think, you know, uh, again, you know, food, food education is a huge part of, of um, what we do. Mm -hmm. um, you know, not in a kind of curriculum kind of way, but, but we like to sort of open people's eyes to new things. And um, I do a lot of work with uh, young kids in the inner cities, and we do some cooking classes and stuff. And it's always a tragedy to me to see how little um, young kids know about food, just, mm -hmm. the, just the basics of you know how to make a how to make something from you know I, I don't care if it's t you know toasting up a piece of bread and putting some butter. You know? Is that an American phenomenon? You think, or is that um, is that just being young? <laughs> I I think um, I think it's it's definitely a more recent phenomenon. I oh think, yeah, uh, yeah, I could see that. I think with with the the ease of um, processed foods and all that, it's, mm -hmm. it's so you know I, I I would love to see um, some kind of uh, food curriculum, you know like. Uh, as part of, you know, a public school. Uh, like a class uh, on yeah, it. Yeah, like a class on it. And, you know, it doesn't have to no, be No, that's complex. actually an interesting idea, actually. Yeah, it's just like how to, how to feed yourself, how to, how to, you know, it's such, it's the most basic thing is how to feed yourself. But, and yet, most kids don't know how to. So they rely on other mm -hmm. people to misinform them about what they think is supposed to be good for them.